Jake, what's your expectation or for draft, whatever? I mean, what, what's your expectation? Um, you know, uh, my expectation really, you know, now has just been today really showing kind of who I am and what I am as a player and how I move. And then also, you know, again, not there's I'm not really expecting, you know, go either way, I guess. But for today, I was just expecting to show them how well I move, how physical I am, you know, and, and how well I do out on the field. Playing with Dave Aranda last year, I mean, he's a first-year head coach, yep. a lot was going on, no spring ball, yep. all that kind of stuff. I mean, what was that like, and, and what do you uh, get from your time with the program? How do you feel about their future? Oh, Coach Aranda has been great. I mean, he is – He's just truly awesome. The program that they have going here, it is a very, very bright future here at Baylor. Um, you know, we had some bump in the roads last season, and uh, we didn't win nearly as much as we thought. But, I mean, they are they have a bright future here. And Coach Aranda is, has been awesome to me and to this program. And I'm really, really excited for the future here and, and for all these guys and everything. Yeah. All right. What do you feel, oh, Thanks, Jake. What's it, one more, one more. What's it feel like to uh, have both your schools make the Final Four? Yeah, I was, you know, I've been asked that a lot, you know, if they play in the championship, who would I cheer for? I don't know, I guess, you know, I'm just, we'll see what happens, I guess. I'm not exactly sure, but it's very exciting, and, and it's really nice to say that, you know, I got two teams in the Final Four and everything, so yeah. that's cool, yeah. All right, thanks, Jake. Thank you. It's been a minute. <laughs> or, or five. Bunch of new faces. <laughs> yeah, you can't see our face. <laughs> that's true. Touche. So, Spencer, I mean, uh, obviously an opportunity for you to get back out there and, and show these guys what you can do. I mean, uh, you know, what was just kind of your – your goal going into today? Oh, exactly what you said. You know, um, it's another opportunity to get in front of teams. And, um, you know, I would like to, you know, get back out there and, and do that. So uh, that was what my goal was just to kind of get out there, show them what I can do, so show them that I'm still in shape and, and uh, ready to play. What was the process like? Did you, like, reach out to, to I guess, a coach here and say, like, hey, I want to be a part of this? Like, how did that ball get going? Uh, yeah, so I actually reached out to compliance first just to make sure everything was – good with all the new protocols in place with COVID and everything. Uh, and then, you know, they got me in contact with the right coaches here, got to meet a lot of new coaches. Um, and, yeah, just kind of got the ball rolling that way. What's, what's your experience been like getting to know some of the new guys? I mean, a lot has changed since you <laughs> A lot has changed, yeah. So it's been good. And no, everyone's been nothing but welcoming. Um, you know, I got to meet several coaches, Coach Randy yesterday. Um, and, and it was, you know, a good conversation, just a quick one, just, hey, how are you and everything. But uh, everything's positive, so really excited to see what he can do here. Spencer, what are your thoughts of Coach Rand? I know you just met him basically yesterday, but what kind of what, what was your interaction like? And I, it, my thoughts on him is I've heard nothing but, but great things about him. Um, you know, like I said, I'm excited to see how he can do with the program. I think it's going to be great things, but, um, you know, from what I've seen, it, it's going to nothing but up. And what are your expectations out of this? What, how do you feel about your chances to kind of get back? And um, you know, I'm – just like I said earlier, I'm just trying to get out in front of teams again. Uh, it's another workout. Um, due to COVID and restrictions like that, it's been tough to get in front of teams and um, teams bringing in. Teams weren't from, I think workouts were down to about 25% of what they were in the past couple of years. Um, and that's just some of the differences of it went from a usually 24 hour process to bring free agents in to a six day process because with um, quarantine and hotel and everything. So, uh, it made it a lot tougher to get in front of teams, and so that's the uh, purpose of today. When you're just you... watching, um, is, is there anything, and it actually helps, do you feel, is there anything you learned being away, you know, just kind of watching everything and picking up on it? Um, definitely was able to work on some things I wanted to work on and get my body right. Um, you know, I feel the best I've felt in a long time, just, you know, not playing football for a year tends to do that for yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. Um, so, but stayed active, stay, uh, you know, stayed on a workout, uh, regiment up in Frisco, Texas, um, at EXO. So it was up there doing that all year round, um, you know, staying in shape, waiting for a call. What did you learn from your NFL experience that you had that could maybe help you? <clears throat> oh, uh, that list is very, very long and extensive. <laughs> um, you know, just from technique to hand placement, to getting off the ball, to just how to look at different things, um, you know several different offenses from where I've been and just kind of being able to put those together and use them to, you know, my advantage and also, you know, keep the tricks that I've learned 
the new tricks and trades that I've learned from being on different teams. If there was a mentality that you would tell these guys about um, leaving college and going to league, what would it be? Uh, I'd say just keep going. You know, it's not an easy league, um, and a lot of guys are very, very good. Um, but just stick with it, and if you get the chance, just go out and play football. You know, I, I, I joke about it, but we do get to play a, a basically a children's game for a living, which is so awesome to do, and not everyone gets to do that. And so at the end of the day, it is football, and it is a business. So you put those together, but just treat it as football and go out and have fun. Along those same lines, uh, you know, Jake's coming in and trying to do, take that same journey that you took. I mean, what would your kind of advice for him be, and, and does he have a bright future, you think? I, from what I've seen, yes, he does. You know, uh, I haven't watched a lot of film on him. Uh, or anything, but from the drills we did and how he was moving, he looks good. Um, you know, advice, I'd just say stick with it and try to learn as much as you can. And don't get discouraged, um, you know, if it doesn't work out because you've had success and football is just the first chapter of your life, but I don't think you'll have an issue um, from what I've seen today. Absolutely. We didn't see you run the 40. <laughs> yeah, I um, actually told Chris Platt that I was going to burn him. He was going to eat my dust <laughs> um, last week, and he was scared. <laughs> no, but uh, I told him, I said, I should actually walk over there and ask those guys if they want to stick around. And Because I got my iPhone, you know, yeah. time it. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's just kind of your objective going into this thing? Uh, just kind of show that that I still have it. Um, I tore my ACL, obviously, the last game of my senior year, um, played in the XFL, and then had a couple of workouts between then and now. Um, but just to show that I still got it, um, and I know I do. I know that I'm consistent. Uh, the wind was a little brutal out there. Um, but, you know, just to, just to come out and show that I still got it. What was that experience like playing the XFL, and, and just what did that do for you? Um, it, was really, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was probably the most fun I've had since uh, college. Um, it was chill, laid back, very professional. Coach Stoops was was awesome. Any, I don't have anything but good words, good things to say about him. Um, it was just also a blessing to to be able to show that again I could still still play with two torn ACLs, um, which was which was something that that I appreciated and like I said, blessed to be able to do it. Do you like your chances just to get a shot at least? Like I do, yeah. I do, yeah. I've, I told myself it's been two or so years since I've uh, been out of been out of college. And I always told myself, you know, um, I've had workouts here and there. I've still been in touch with some teams who have called me and emailed me. Um, and, you know, I've, I've always told myself that I've got it, and I know, I know that I've got it. It's all up here. Um, so I, I, I know that, that this is something that I want to do, and I know it's something that I will do. Um, it's just only a matter of time. All I need is one team to call me, and all I need is one team to let me come compete, and that's all I'm asking for, and that's all that I need. Spencer brought up this has been kind of a weird offseason because of all the protocols. Have you, have you run into that as well as far as maybe some opportunities that would normally be there that aren't right now? Yeah, so actually, funny you say that. I um, So back in, I think, uh, no, back in November, I believe it was, I had to work out with the Vikings, how to do a, all the protocol stuff. And then um, in December, I was supposed to go up to Arizona, have a workout with the Cardinals, but I got COVID the day before, so I didn't get to go up there, which was kicked me in the shins a little bit. But, you know, uh, it is what it is. Um, but I'm just, like I said, I'm still blessed to still be able to do what I do and just grind it out. What have you been able to do training-wise ever since, you know, XP or uh, I've been I've just been working out. Um, every day staying in shapes in as best shape as possible. I'm, honestly, I feel like I'm in the best shape that I've been in since college, even probably better um, just because of I'm eating clean, I'm doing everything that it takes just to kind of take that next step um, just to to be a professional, true professional um, because being a free agent, it's it's pretty, it's difficult. Um, it's all up here, like I said. Um, you're your own CEO and what you do is kind of, it's all it's all on you. So. What you put in is what you get out, and I've been blessed enough to have uh, parents, and you know, Coach McGuire's been awesome, Coach Wetzel, all those guys up here. Um, so I'm just very appreciative that they allowed me to come uh, back up here and just kind of showcase that I still have, still have it. So.
as your familiar faces, but a lot has changed as well. Uh, have you been able to, to kind of get to know some of the new people around here? Uh, yeah, I actually met Coach Randa um, earlier today, earlier this morning. Um, great guy. You can just tell he's, he's a good guy. Um, I really like what they have going on um, around here, just talking to some of the players. Um, you can tell that they, they're really bought into what he has, and um, I think it's a little different than co what Coach Rule has, which is which is fine. You know, I mean, every coach has their own culture, and you kind of got to you kind of have to uh, bring that you bring that along with yourself. So, um, yeah, I think that um, what they have, they, they just got to get rolling. They're, they're going to be fine. So, nothing but confidence in those guys. Coach Rule, obviously, and, and a lot of those coaches that you know in the, in the league, Coach Kingsbury, he was a big 12 coach. Mm -hmm. Has, have those, those connections helped at all as you try to kind of go through this process? Uh, yeah, but those guys are kind of hard to get get a hold of, you know. Um, <laughs> I haven't talked to Coach Rule since I left. Um, I've been in touch with Coach Taravo here and there, um, who is awesome. remember him chewing me out, but you know what? Hey. <laughs> You got to be able to take it, you know. You're another player out there, not just a punter. Um, so, yeah, I've been in touch with a few of those guys. Um, they're they always, well, I've always had respect for them, nothing but respect, and um, they're great at what they do. So, nothing but respect. They're awesome. True. Were you excited that Ross got a shot? Oh yeah, he actually just texted me when I was walking up here. How to go? How to go? How to go? The guys, wearing me out. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a he's got a mullet now. I'm like, dude, listen. I had that when I was a senior in high school and college. Like, come on. No, he's uh, he's good. He's one of my best friends. Um, but I'm so, so happy for him. He deserves it. He works his tail off. Um, he he deserves everything that he's got, for sure. He's He works his butt off more so than, I'd say, anybody else on the field. So he, he deserves everything that he's got, definitely. All right. Thanks, Thank Drew. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. Thank you all. <laughs> How did you feel like today went, and uh, you know what, what was kind of your objective going into? Uh, the objective was uh, just to be the best I could be. You know, um, I haven't had a lot of experience with training with people or anything like that. Most of it's been on my own, so I just wanted to come in here and do the best I can. I, th I think I had a pretty good, pretty good day, decent day. What are your expectations from here? Um, well, if a team calls, they call. So that's the. That's the end goal, but uh, if it doesn't work out, I, I'll graduate in May and, and I'll pursue my dream of coaching. What was your experience at Baylor like? How would you sum up your time? Oh, it was awesome. Uh, I came from a, I was a transfer from a D2 school, so coming here to another uh, Christian school and being able to experience like a Division One program, and it's uh, it's been unreal. It's been a dream come true, really. Today, kind of a dream come true too, just to perform in front of guys. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, not many people get this opportunity, so I'd, I'd like to think I made the best of it, and it was uh, it was a really fun time. It's kind of like the weirdest job interview ever, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I was uh, that's what I was telling my uh, mom. I was like, this is basically a job interview. <laughs> like, for you, I mean, now you said you know, wait for a team to call. What, what what does that look like for you in terms of working out and where you know how will that all work for you? Uh, you know, I'm gonna stay where I'm at. Uh, I didn't come in exactly at the weight I wanted, so you know, probably put on about five more pounds and continue to do some of the drills I did today and just keep keep grinding, keep going. All right, thanks, Thank you, Appreciate it. Spencer said it had been a minute. I think it's been a yeah, minute. Yeah, it has been a while. Did it, did it bring back memories, man? Being back out here? Uh, yeah, it definitely did, especially when uh, I came in on Friday. Hold on, my agent. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it feels great to be back. It's been a whole year or so since the pandemic, since I've been back. So just being back, being around my favorite restaurants, my favorite people, it's always a good time to be back. Chris, kind of what were your expectations going into the day? What did you, what did you hope to get done? Um... Underperformed on the 40. I know I could do it a lot better, but you know, last year when I was preparing for my pro day last year, I was over there at Apex with Stroop, and uh, they were getting me right. And then by the time I was getting ready to perform, they canceled on it. So, I mean, it's unfortunate. I'm not the only one where their life just canceled. So, you know, I didn't have too much hard feelings on myself about it. So I just stayed the course. 
uh, trained when I went back home in Conroe, trained by myself basically, and kind of just kept myself in shape. But other than that, I think I did pretty pretty well everything but the 40. You say you're an apex with Bobby Stroop and those guys? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That's a good dude right there. Yes, very good dude. Yeah. Very intelligent. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just what, what kind of health are you in now? Are you about as healthy as you've been in, in forever probably? I'd say last year I was probably the healthiest I've been. Right now I'm probably a little bit under, but I'm I'm definitely healthy at, at best. What, what does it look like from here in terms of just, you know, getting you to work out and hope to get a call, that kind of thing? Uh, yeah, so I'm I'm just going to keep the main thing the main thing. I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing, and if I get that call, if I'm lucky enough to get that call, then I'll be ready. Chris, are you doing anything else right now? Are you working or anything? Or what? Oh, yes, I actually work at a gym in Conroe, so okay. when I'm working people out, right after that, I'm working out myself. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anything else? What's it like just being back around? I know you said it's strange it's been like a year, but... Just seeing different faces, you know, different mm -hmm. players, but familiar players as well. What's that experience like for you? Uh, you know, I, I since my sophomore year, everything's been changing like year after year. But like coming from a year not being up here and then seeing all the new people, new faces, all these new freshmen, sophomores I've never seen, it's it's kind of weird. At at some point, even like things in in the indoor. I mean, the facilities changed, people's changed in academics, everything else, but. It's always good to see a familiar face, and I do see a couple that's still in there. But um, other than that, I, I think everything's pretty much good. Chris, did you have a chance, or have you had a chance to meet with Coach Aranda, or what, what are, what are your, have you had any interaction with him? No, I have not. So since I've been back, I'd always come around, around practice. Okay. So he's always coaching, so I'm kind of out the way. I'm in the indoor, probably doing some stuff on my own. And then by the time he's done, I'm already throwing. You know, pop over to the track and say hello there? Or? Yeah, actually. Actually, uh, I had planned on it yesterday, but uh, I got caught up with doing some, some work stuff. But uh, I do plan on going over there before I leave. I got to meet Saturday. If you mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yep. Any eligibility left? <laughs> nah. Nah, they asked me, but I said, nah, nah I'm pretty much done with that. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Yep. Appreciate it. How y'all doing? Good. Good, good. Yes, sir. Um, I feel like, you know, the season was where I helped myself the most and uh, the senior bowl. And today I felt like I stamped it. What was that senior bowl experience like for you? It was a great experience. You know, I was honored to be able to play in the game. You know, I went against the best of the best. And, um, you know, I, I feel like I put my best foot forward and I enjoyed it. How big was it to be able to interact with those coaches there for that week as well? Yeah, it was great. You know, uh, I, I got to meet uh, Matt Rule. Uh, Coach O, you know, I learned a lot from him. You know, I had a lot of takeaways from it, and it was just a great experience. What are your kind of expectations going into the draft? Are you getting some feedback from, from NFL teams at all? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm talking to teams. Um, you know, right now, you know, um, I'm on to my next phase. You know, I'm, I'm going to go home, start training, you know, just stay focused, stay in shape, and just wait on that call. What was your overall experience? I mean, from, from when you transferred here to till now, what was just the experience like for you here at Baylor? Yeah, um, I loved every every moment of it. You know, it was just an honor to get to play with these guys. You know, for me to be the, the chess piece, you know, to come help help the defense out, you know, it was fun. You know, they, they welcomed me with open arms, and, you know, I, I love it. You know, I'm a Baylor Bear the rest of my life. What uh, do you think the future holds for this defense? I mean, you saw them last year with Ron Roberts, knowing that pretty much everybody's back, Terrell's back. I mean, what do you think the future holds? Yeah, I, I just know they're not done yet. So it's, it's going to be real scary for, for offenses in the Big 12. You mentioned that you stamped it today, you know, with uh, kind of you know, what you did at the Super Bowl, too. What was the thing that you were – was there like a particular drill or particular thing that you were kind of focused on today? Um, really just everything. You know, I wanted to show that I was an athlete. You know, I could move. You know, I could play edge of the defense. You know, I could drop back in coverage and that I could rush out of a three technique. And um, I, I showed some of those attributes today. And I put my my best foot forward. Yes, sir. What's been the feedback that you've been receiving from the NFL team so far? Um, it's a couple teams that's interested. You know, they just tell me, you know, keep getting better. 
and, and stuff like that. You know, I'm just waiting on a call, waiting on an opportunity. How big is the fact that you, like you said, you, you're versatile, you can do many different things. How big has that been for your you know, conversations with those? Yeah, guys? I feel like that helped me out a lot. You know, um, you know, it, it, it makes me more valuable. You know, I could, like I said, rush out of three technique, play the edge of the defense and drop back in coverage. So, you know, that makes me one of the most valuable defensive ends in this draft. So with the three technique stuff, are you working on kind of exploding from the interior as well? Do you feel like you can kind of do both of them? Yeah, like sub packages, you know, on third down, I can rush out of a three technique. I've been doing that since I was a redshirt freshman. So, you know, it's nothing new. With the way that uh, COVID has kind of impacted the combine, just this whole process, how grateful are you to have an opportunity like this to be able to get more exposure? Yeah, I'm, I'm honored. You know, I'm blessed. Um, you know, I feel like COVID just made, just made guys, you know, mentally stronger, you know, um, I feel like, you know, we, I was ready for whatever. You know, I was prepared for whatever. You know, I made sure, you know, every game, every play, you know, I put my best foot forward just because I didn't know what would happen. Do you see yourself in the future coming back around, staying in touch and kind of being around some of the younger guys as well? Yeah, most definitely. You know, I, I, one of the main reasons, you know, I came here was to, you know, leave something for the younger guys. You know, I wanted to be a leader. I wanted to show them, like, you know, what type of work ethic you had to do to, you know, had to have to get it done. You know, um, you know, I showed them I was on a mission, and you know, we're not done yet. But you know, I'm, I'm gonna show them how to finish it. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Good luck.